You're a podcast listener, and this is a podcast ad. Reach great listeners like yourself with podcast advertising from Lips and Ads. Choose from hundreds of top podcasts offering host endorsements, or run a reproduced ad like this one across thousands of shows to reach your target audience with Lips and Ads. Go to lipsandads.com now. That's L I B S Y N ads.com. I don't care what anybody says. Being a mother, being a mother is the most blessed yet challenging blessing journey, whatever you want to call it in the world. And I feel like a lot of moms take away the weight that's behind being a mother by saying, I'm just a mom. I'm a stay at home mom. I do this, that, and the other, the big career that they're doing and a mom. And it just pains me because it is the most important job in the world. Uh, no. Ooh, that's better, right, babe? Yeah! Yeah. She founded an architectural concrete company. He founded a hundred million dollar clothing company. She took the world by storm as a social media star. He took the world by storm as a famous serial entrepreneur. Together we started a business. And had babies. Now we're figuring out the best ways to do both. Join us as we learn from other entrepreneurs going through the same life struggles. As they share their life hacks about success, love, kids. And everything in between. All that I am or ever hope to be, I owe to my angel mother. Quote by Abraham Lincoln. Behind every successful woman, oh man is a mother who believed in them from the beginning. Welcome to this episode of the Pretty and Punk Podcast. My name is Dan Caldwell, and I'm here with my beautiful co-host. Happy Mother's Day or late Mother's Day to you, my beautiful co-host. I'm a beautiful wife, and you can go anytime now. You know, they go up at NC. Well, on the last episode, I cut you off, so I just really was waiting. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot oh. about that. Okay, so um, welcome to this episode of the Pretty and Punk Podcast. I just want to say happy late Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. We were trying to have, we wanted to have a little bit of conversation about moms My, out there, yeah. but... It, we didn't know whether to do it before Mother's Day or after Mother's Day because it would have been a long time from the time that we did the episode <laughs> to when it actually aired from Mother's Day. So we decided to do it just a couple of days after Mother's yeah, Day. Yeah, because everybody had an experience and everybody went through something that was amazing so, or maybe even some mom struggled with some stuff. But before we get into the episode... Hey guys, we hope you're enjoying today's episode of the Pretty and Punk Podcast. And if you are, and you haven't already hit that like and subscribe button, it just takes a second. It means so much to us because it really helps the podcast get out there to more listeners like you guys. And if you know anybody, it might help and you can send it to them. We really appreciate that too. We also love and appreciate your reviews. Even the babies look forward to them every day. If you share this episode on social media today, don't forget to tag us. We want to celebrate you because we know it's not easy being a parent in business. And the way that you juggle things makes you a superhero. That's worth a shout out. Together, we have a community of our personal followers as well. And we just want to put it out there. We want to show everybody that this juggle is possible. And and you are our family and we're so proud and grateful to have you a part of this family so don't forget the sh all the links are below in the show notes and thank you again and let's get back to the show i don't care what anybody says being a mother being a mother is the most blessed yet challenging blessing journey, whatever you want to call it in the world. And I feel like a lot of moms take away the weight that's behind being a mother by saying, I'm just a mom. I'm a stay at home mom. I do this, that, and the other, the big career that they're doing and a mom. And it just pains me because it is the most important job 
in the world. And I've said this before, and I want to say it again. And this is why I was really excited that we were going to do a Mother's Day episode, not for myself, because I feel like every mother out there is, the, especially the ones in the trenches, but not just in the trenches, there is a, a type of struggle, a type of challenge in every part of motherhood. But I just really want those moms to get those flowers today. And we want to talk about that. Yeah, mothers need more credit for what they go through, what they do, the part that they play in building their children. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, I, you know, I've, I've, I've heard men are what their mothers make them. And yeah. I, it's, it's a, I don't know if it's a quote by somebody, but I just, I, I know in my, I was a mama's boy, I think, growing up. And I can feel that yeah. in how I was brought up that mom, you know, my mom shaped me. I learned from my dad to be um, who I am, as, you know, to be a man, mm -hmm. but by watching him. But I, I became the person that I am from my mom. Yeah, same. I can definitely. And I definitely know you <laughs> are your mother's child, 100%. <laughs> and our daughter is. Her oh boy, <laughs> somebody! I feel sorry for somebody who's. I mean, no, I shouldn't say that. She's just really outspoken. But this is your what mo I your love. mom was outspoken. But she had to be. She had to be. She was a leader. And I remember one of my cousins talking about how she knew both sides of my mom. And if you guys don't know the story, my mom had to make a very strong decision. At one point of her life, sadly, my mom and my dad didn't make it in marriage, which is, this is one of the reasons why we have the podcast, because if they just had a support system behind them, they'd probably be together. But, you know, the devil wants to seek and destroy and kill and do all those things. And the relationship died because they didn't have those kind of people behind them. So she was very soft and my mom was very petite and tiny um, like myself. But after the divorce, she had to turn into a different person. And my cousin was saying how she's only known her as the homemaker. She didn't really get to experience the businesswoman until later. And then when my mom had the little children to take care of. She morphed. She turned into this superhero warrior uh, lion. And that was one of our, our visuals for our family. We were the lion pack. And she turned into this different person. And I had always admired that. But the more that I listened to other people's stories and, and were doing this podcast, I don't, I wish for no woman to ever have to go there. I know it's possible that we are all strong and have the ability to have, you know, multi-million dollar careers and do all these things ourselves. But one, that I don't think that's how God created us to be because my mom ended up getting sick because she had to work so hard. She had to do all the things that a stay-at-home mom would do. Um, but women still, they have to, the women are strong. Us. I mean, don't get me. Women will stand up and fight for their family. A hundred percent. But you, I don't like the fact of doing it alone. She, no, she no, can be, she was yeah. always strong. The man but is she the was first in her defense. Feminine too. And if he's, if he, but right. if he's got multiple attackers, the woman is definitely yeah. going to stand it's up like and me, fight it's for like her family. Me. I, I'm strong. I'm capable. I was raised by one of the strongest, a, a warrior. It's the reason why I believe that I'm standing today when I got that diagnosis in the office because of my mom as an example. But I wish she didn't have to do it alone. And as women, we have to fight for our families, fight for our children. And there, yes, is so much power in us. But I hate hearing anyone have to go through a divorce because I know what's behind it. I'm telling you, yeah. everybody gets something either physically, emotionally. A lot of people get the C word. 
Um, my mom didn't until way later in her life, but she fought through that too, and well, she stuck up for herself. Well, mothers, I think that, that the problem is is that you know you hear so much people, so many people talking about um, you know women being in their feminine, and you have you know with a fifty percent divorce uh. rate, you have so many women having to step up and become the man and, and the have woman this role masculine side. and 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 somewhat support the family. You know, yes. dads are out of their lives, and hopefully, you uh. know that even if you're if you're uh you know if you're a dad and you're separated be that man be mm-hmm. that person step into that role and still play that role for your family as much as you can yeah and so that you know she just doesn't have to i could feel your mom mm-hmm. your mom was powerful and i could feel how powerful she was and that she was she never felt like she was able to be that she never to me i never knew her before so i didn't know i only knew her in that role of being this man and woman not you know not (laughs) not for real but you know being stepping into that role i would see that when she went into you know her some of her when we went to um the property up north yeah and you know you just how she would just take over (laughs) <laughs> you know, like calling the contractors and get them on the phone and <laughs> tell them what a you know. Oh I can't gosh. even. I can't even do what she I'm did. Crying, but because, she would just yeah. really take over and She's have got- to be that person. <laughs> I remember her up in, we had this uh, investment property. I, I think it was 21, 21. Uh, we bought an investment property together. Uh, it was a, com- it was my first commercial property. And I remember when there was problems and she'd get so mad at the roofer. She climbed up on the roof and <laughs> fixed it herself. <laughs> Oh my gosh, but these are the things that you do when you become a single mom. But I just wish she didn't have to, but I admire her. And I remember there was this stubborn part when you and I were having that minute of, and and of course, it's the devil trying to take us apart. But when you were at the job, you guys know the story there. it's a it's a it's a long story and we're not going to get into it but i remember talking to my mom and saying i i'm i'm just done i'm done and it was just you know my emotions were high i'm still nursing the baby um you know all this stuff going through me and she said you guys need to work it out just and she's telling me your perspective and she the one thing i love i love about mothers is that when not all moms don't take your child's side but she was just very honest and she would say try to put me in your shoes and then try to put you in my shoes if she ever got a hold of you yes. so she would talk sense into me and then remind me of all the hard issues. Do you know how hard it was having those little children <laughs> my, by myself? I think moms have a lot of wisdom, but they tend yes. to, I think that's kind of a male thing, you know, that, that type of conversation, because I always felt like my mom, whether I was right <laughs> or wrong, she was on my side, you know? Oh. I remember one time when I was in elementary school, I think I was in second grade and this, this kid, she was a yard duty, uh-huh. you know, like the ladies that stand out there and, they, and, and you know, we didn't, she, it was like her second job. She got paid for a few hours to come out and do these, carry a whistle and yell uh-huh. at kids. And so she was out there on the, on, and it was always kind of weird because, you know, your mom's out there and you kind of yeah. feel a little bit of embarrassed, but he, he had kicked me in the privates and, <laughs> oh, and dear, I'm crying. Awful. I'm a little mama's boy and I'm crying <laughs> and I go over to my mom and I'm like, this guy, I still remember his name is Jonathan Smith. And he had kicked, and I told my mom what he did, and she grabbed him and (laughs) held him in place and told me to kick him back right in the private. (laughs) And I was like, I mean, my dad would have said, suck it up, you know, keep walking, you'll be fine, and, you know, maybe you'll fight him after school or something. But my mom literally, I mean, you imagine the trouble she could have got in? She literally held this kid in place, (laughs) held his legs open so I could kick him in the, I mean, are you kidding me? No. Oh, my. My goodness, but then you know, and I also have this great photo I can still remember in, in kindergarten of us in the newspaper <laughs> where I ran up to my mom after my first day of school and Aww. hugged her. And you know, I always got that great moment that made the newspaper, and I still have that cut out. But I, 
I just, <laughs> moms are, you know, I feel so blessed that I have this amazing mom yes. and happy Mother's Day to you, mom, if you're listening. Mm-hmm. And I really feel blessed to have an amazing mom. Yeah. And I know you had an amazing mom too. Yeah. Yeah. And she was really. And that said, I have something very special for you planned that I didn't tell you about. And so I, I guess in part of this episode, I question the kids. I asked them some questions about you as a mother. <laughs> awesome. And so I'm going to plug it into this episode so the, the audience at home will hear it at some point. I'm going to drop it into the episode. Oh, but And then I'm not going to let you listen to what they say until the episode airs. So oh. you're going to have to... You're going to have to hear what they had to say about you when the episode it. airs. I love that. I love that. And it was it was kind of a, you know, these last Mother's Day was a little bit challenging for me this year. It was, you know, beautiful. And I feel very blessed that I have these children. But it's also hard for me. And I haven't really shared anything about it on social media because I don't want to, you know, be the victim, but I know there must be other people either struggling with the fact that their parents are getting older or maybe they're sick and, you know, you're watching all these things on social media where people still have their mom and, and um, they're having these big extravagant, Mother's Day and it's it just brings back the memories that I spent with my mom and it's so hard because I just want to pick up the phone and tell my mom that I appreciate her and I love her and and um it's hard for the moms that don't have their moms anymore it's and I know there's a lot of us out there but it's like this weird thing where it's supposed to be this happy day and it is because I'm telling you and you guys know it our children are the biggest blessings that's ever happened to us in our lives they really truly show us what true love is um they fill in all the gaps of any kind of um loss of love that we've had through our lives for me I wish I had my dad there but they just filled in all the gaps but for me this mother's day was challenging so I I really I don't feel like going out and having a big dinner I just I truly I'm in the trenches I've got the little ones I'm exhausted I just honestly I just want to stay home and rest yeah and enjoy my kids hug them as hard as I can make some great relaxed memories and then on like another day uh go out and do the mother's day dinner because a part of me it's like just days after mother's day that's when I lost to my mom so it's it's been hard so when the babies are asleep I'm thinking I'm just just wishing I could just pick up the phone so you guys have your moms just I know that you take I took it for granted too. It's just that those are the best memories and you guys are so lucky if you have it still, but being a mom while your mom is alive as a, as a woman, because your mother just looks at you in such a different way. They're so proud of you being a mother and so proud of you looking after those kids. I just, I, those were the best Mother's Day. Like, obviously, I loved the Mother's Days, and I always spoiled my mom, took her on some crazy extravagant holiday and just spoiled her because I didn't have kids yet. So she was like my baby. She and was your kid. I would spoil her kid. and take her mm. on all these holidays, and just her friends would be so jealous, and it was just so awesome. But then when I had kids, she was happier than all those Mother's Days that I spoiled her. She was just so happy to just watch the kids and obviously relive her life as a mother. To me, when I was a little infant and toddler, through the babies. So it was just a hard, it's still hard. And I wonder, I mean, it does it get easier? Um I, the grief comes and it comes in waves and whoever's going through this, I'm sure you get it. But Mother's Day is one of those days when 
it really hits. My mom was amazing, so I miss her so much. Yeah, I understand, but I mean, I wish I wanted to. T- I that's why I, I felt like I didn't really know what to do. You know, it's because we haven't. I, don't want, I didn't know what I to want, do because I wanted I to take you to dinner. I, I have this want big to go dinner out for plan. Dinner, and then what if and I get all emotional? You were like, "No, I don't want to go." I was like, "You don't want to go to so dinner." Tired. Well, I just, I just wanted you to kind of. You know, I want you to not have that on your mind as much. I know it was always going to yeah. be on your mind. It was going to come out at certain times. And it just, you know, it's part of <laughs> it, the It holiday, mostly but. came out uh, now that I'm talking about it because I'm talking about her. And I just, it's so, ugh. Oh, don't is cry. It the butterflies? me cry now. What is it I? the butterflies or there's this little bird? I was thinking of my mom a lot for the buildup up to Mother's Day. And uh, I know it sounds so stupid, but... When she passed, she passed suddenly and unexpectedly, but she left this letter for me. And it was all these prayers that she wrote down. And she wanted to make sure that I found it someday. So she put it somewhere safe, but there was this little butterfly on it. And I didn't really think much of it. But then after I got the letter, when I was... Um, taking, cause she, she made it very clear. She didn't want anybody else in the house. Only me, only you, Ildiko. I don't want anybody else in the house. If anything ever happens to me, just you. So she left this letter there and the little butterfly about, I think a day later, I started seeing this little white butterfly. That white butterfly everywhere. Everywhere, yeah. everywhere. And I, this sounds so nuts, but this year, the build up to Mother's Day, because as I said, it was just so suddenly after Mother's Day that she passed. I got her a bouquet of flowers that she was so happy about. And then I said, I'm going to really blow the socks off of her. And I sent her this other amazing bouquet that she didn't even get she didn't even get but i was thinking about mother day anyway let's get back to the subject i sent her one and i sent her one too yeah yeah and she never got them so i was like is she gonna come as a butterfly is she gonna come as um something else maybe a bird (laughs) a bird Mm -hmm. so we have this beautiful wreath always wreaths on our on our front door and there's a bird that sat in that wreath every in single it. day. And when I think about my mom, I'm like, are you going to be here today? Are you? I don't know. It's just, it's just crazy. You know, I, I don't know if you can relate to this unless, unless you lose someone. And I remember with my brother too, it was roses and doves and, um, it, it's, it's just that happy thing. It's just something that literally lifts your soul. And if you have some kind of experience like this, share it because it makes me happy. Anyway. So happy Mother's <laughs> Day happy to Mother's all Day. those, all you amazing mothers out there who are changing the world, yes. shaping the world with build, building these great children. You know, yes. don't give, let, let's all give credit where credit's due mm-hmm. here. Yes. You do amazing things. Yes. And um, and I know one day your sons and daughters will stand up and thank you, whether that be in, in a podium in graduation <laughs> or at a, at a speech. Who knows where that's going to be, but yeah. they will stand up and thank you yeah. for the hard you work that you put in. You are behind greatness. You are the one that is responsible for the greatness. You are responsible. You are the one that is pouring into those beautiful babies and... And giving them such an incredible opportunity in life to fulfill their God-given destiny, their assignment. And I just, I have so much love for all of you and all the moms that are going through the trenches. And maybe you may have elderly parents that are, you know, going through it or sick parents. I'm also giving you guys your flowers because I I didn't talk about it because my mom said, don't not tell anybody that I'm going through this, that, and the other. Um, and I had to deal with it behind closed doors and she was very happy, but she was very proud. She never wanted anyone to know that she was starting to lose. Uh, well, you guys know the people that can relate, you get it. You, there's something hard about getting older. When you're Wonder Woman, your superhero, their legs start to break down or their body starts to break down. 
they they don't want to that's not something it's they want to you with, to brag yeah. about or they don't want to brag about it that's a hard thing and they don't want to be seen get, in that condition that's right i remember your mom fighting not wanting to use the walker that she had to use it she wouldn't towards the end there she wouldn't she, she wouldn't would use it. not use it and the beautiful part was that I, you know, she said, everybody wants to put me in a home. And da, 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 da. I promised her when I was eight years old, I will never, whatever you want, I will make that happen. And we did. And she stayed at home. She had nurses. She, she was so, she was so yeah. strong-willed. And if she didn't like a nurse, she would fire one. And the, we were blessed. Like, I'm telling you that the divine interventions that she just had the perfect people around her that could, if she was in an old home, they would probably drug her up and medicate her. But she was just with these people that understood her European flair and her, I, I don't, like she would sl- smack the nurses on the butt or the hand and, or whatever. Like she would just, it, it was just her personality yeah, to, and they loved her. If I remember her. right, we had to talk to her about that a little bit. We did, but they <laughs> loved her and they would call her uh, all the things that she, you know, they would call her beautiful and baby girl. And I think everybody deserves to live out what she worked so dang hard for us that she deserved to be treated like a queen. And I said, treat her like a queen and they loved her it was like all these girls were the you know the nurses were her daughters and some of them she didn't get along with so if you don't get along with someone then you move past it you you get someone that you're happy being around don't stay with someone that you're unhappy you guys have two different uh personalities then don't deal with it you know yeah life is precious Hug your moms. Love your moms. Hug your mamas out yeah, there. Yeah, and because you just never know. Things happen ha- so darn Happy, stuff, happy Heavenly Mother's Day, Etty. Um, oh, you said that like mama. Yes, and <laughs> you thrown out the Hungarian there. Um, and uh, I think it, 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 it... Oh, there you go. <laughs> and so without further ado, I'd like to... So I'm, I'm going to drop oh, it in right here. So, so you excited. get to do that? Yes, okay. I'm so Okay, so you're not going to hear it until so theirs, but so uh, for this people at home, present. here we go. Oh, wait, one more thing. If you can just start... I don't know where your your wife is and and moms, tell your husbands to take photos of you. Photo, take photos photos of me that is the Husbands, best gift gift i can't us. be the only person that gets yelled at for this so yes you more guys pictures, get out there photo step shoots, up it's more picture i think i got i've been doing a pretty good job it. lately yes but lately. uh <laughs> okay anyway i'm so excited okay. to hear this interview happy mother's happy day happy mother's day i love you guys here so we go much. hey guys so we're here at the pretty and punk podcast i'm about to interview our son Daniel and daughter Destiny about their mother. And I wanted to do this something special for Mother's Day. And so she doesn't know this, but this is going to air on the podcast about the Mother's Day. It's going to, I believe the podcast is going to air right after Mother's Day. And so, uh, so Daniel, Destiny, are you guys ready to do this? Yeah. yeah. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to ask you guys a few questions about your mom and just be, you know, like, tell me how you feel and just, and, and use your words and just explain how you feel about mama. Okay. So the first question is, I know whatever sounds good. You tell me what you feel. Okay. (laughs) Okay. Here we go. What is your favorite thing about mommy? Um, she's always nice. She's always nice? Yeah. And what, what about you, Destiny? What's your favorite thing about Mommy? Um, she needs to practice the splits. She just needs to put one... Speak leg, in the mic. She just needs to put one leg straight at the back and one leg, like, on the ground, but not, like, straight. Oh, you and like when Mommy practices to- the splits with you? Yeah. What, Daniel, what do you like especially about my mom? Like, what does she do that you really love about her? Um, she loves me in a way that I can't resist, and I can't, and I don't know how to show how much I love her back. Oh, buddy, I that's such a great answer. Oh, I don't know if I could have said it that well. Okay, make sure you guys speak right into the mic, okay? If if you guys could give mommy a superpower. Any superpower in the world, 
What would that superpower? Like an actual what, superpower. Yeah, like an actual superpower. Like, What's, an a, like what I mean is an actual superpower or just a superpower of being like a great mom. Yeah, no, like a su- any superpower oh, oh, okay, in the world. Okay, okay, okay. Well, I think she should have the split superpower so she doesn't need to practice. <laughs> okay, Daniel, what is your superpower that you want to give your mom? Speak in the mic. I wish she could be... I wish she could either be super big or fly or have laser eyes or be really strong. <laughs> Laser um, eyes. I think, I I think sh- your mom is pretty strong, though. I think I want her to be super strong so that she can lift a thousand pounds with her pinky. Oh my gosh, then she'd be able to beat up daddy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> I wanted to beat you up. Oh, yes, no. that would be good blogging. Okay, okay. So that's uh, great answers, both of you. What is the funniest thing mommy has ever done? Think about it for a second. What is the funniest thing that you can remember that mommy has ever done? You can take a minute to think about it if you need to. Um, tickle us. Tickle you? <laughs> when she tickles you, does that make you laugh? The, yeah. The, I think there was one time where she, I think it was a few times, she was jumping around and she was going, and she was being like a monkey and waving her arms like a U shape. Like a monkey? Yeah. <laughs> and she was going. Mommy gets a little cuckoo sometimes. I, I don't know if she, her <laughs> arms were like that, but she was jumping around crazy. Oh, that's, uh, yeah, you, she has so much fun with you guys sometimes, right? Yeah. Do you like but, when she has fun with you guys? Yeah. yeah, but she only jumps around crazy sometimes. Sometimes, right? I haven't you... seen her jump around in a long time until I got my very first viral post, which was today, and she jumped around crazy today. What? Oh, really? Okay, guys, speak yeah. into the mic. Speak yeah, into the mic. Yeah, well, while she was holding me. And, oh, I remember. I saw that. I saw that. Well, when yeah. I, well, when I ate sometimes a piece of wood by myself, she jumped when I was on my chair eating. <laughs> okay. Did she scare you? No. Oh. <laughs> okay, on to the next question. What is the best adventure you had with Mommy? What's the best adventure that you can remember having with Mommy that you liked? Like where you guys went on a little adventure. Or it could have been all of us, but what was the best adventure, uh, your favorite time with mommy? So you mean, Even back when you were little, like all the way back to you, can you remember when you were little? What is your favorite adventure with mommy? I know we've had a lot, so it, sometimes it gets overwhelming. I, I know you have fun with mommy all the time. So what is the one thing, though, that really stands out? There's only a... F- there's only one memory I had when I was really young. I was like one or two. Uh huh. I I got to take a picture with with mommy, daddy, and me. But Destiny wasn't born yet, and I was with Mickey Mouse, and I was like, "Who is this dude?" <laughs> you didn't know who Mickey Mouse was. I remember that I, moment. I knew him. I knew him, but I was like. I think that was your you were you were two years old. That was your two year old birthday that we took you to Disneyland, and we because I can remember we took a picture of, with Mickey Mouse in his Mickey Mouse Land or whatever they call that. It's well, Disneyland. It, well, my, yeah, but there was a well, special part of Disneyland was, where he lived. Well, I wish my birthday was those prank birthdays where you go on crazy heights where you just drop and you're like screaming. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. I think she means free-falling. I think she means that guy that free-falls people and makes them scream on the way down. <laughs> that, that's what? a good one. Well, my favorite memory okay. with Mommy is when when I, when we were at that hotel. You, don't, you know the, the Ritz-Carlton? Yeah. That, that place where we had the pool that we went to. Oh, like yeah. A few days ago on our trip. Yes. My favorite part was when we was when we went to the pool and and I met that that rioter girl. Oh, was yeah. was like one. Uh-huh. Yeah. And that was your favorite part with mommy? But what about the time you were flying the kite with mommy? You said, I remember one time you saying that was your favorite time. 
when we were out there, you said, this is my favorite time ever. I think, wait, was it when, was, was it when we were at that parent hotel that I like to go all the way well, up to the tippy, tippy top of the stairs? I think well, so. My daughter, so a very long time ago, mommy showed me a peek of our new kites, like yesterday, <laughs> and, and I was like this. <laughs> I thought Siemens were going on a hike to like jump off t- a cliff. No, no. We're, not, we're not doing no cliff jumping yet. Okay, lo- I got one last question for you guys. Are you guys ready? Yep. Okay. okay, so here's the last question. If you could say anything to mommy that would make her really happy for Mother's Day, what would it be? And think of something from the heart, like not, not just anything. Think of something from the heart. If you could think of anything you could say to mommy, how oh you feel gosh, about mommy. This one's very, how? this one's impossible. Do you remember how I answered the first question? Yes. This one's yes. too impossible. Well, no, just, I can't, just well, speak from the heart. Well, it doesn't have well, to be anything I think, that you can't say. Well, I think I could like say, I'm going to give you a present, but I didn't tell her that it was a candy cane and like wrapping paper. No, I don't know. If you that. did give her. I remember you wrapped up a present for her. I don't know if that was. But what's from, the one thing you would tell mommy well, if you could say anything to just to make her happy? If you wanted to make mommy happy, what would you tell her? Um, that I would give her flippers. Flippers. Flowers. 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 <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. What flippers. about you, Daniel? What about you, Daniel? What would you tell mommy to make her um, happy and smile? Oh my gosh, this one's very hard. Um, <laughs> yeah, but but what, yeah, but you are always so. I love when you you know something that I I am jealous of that I love. I saw you was it a, I don't know a few days ago a week ago when you were caressing mommy's face. You were like running your fingers along mommy's face on and Mother's just telling Day? her how much. No, no, on a di- it, no, it's not Mother's Day yet. But it was you were just. I think we were just. I, I, maybe we were downstairs or something. I can't remember what it was. But you were just, she wasn't feeling well. No, That's I what it was. Last, she wasn't. She, I mean, last Mother's Day. No, no, no. It was like a couple of weeks ago. She wasn't feeling well. And you just, you wanted to make her feel better. And you were like running your hands on her face. And it was just so cute to me. And I think mommy talked about it for like a week. She loved it so much. It was a week ago, so I said Mother's Day. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so tell me why you did that. Why Why did you want to do that for Mommy? I, I just don't know how to represent how much I love her. I would do anything for her. So that's the best I could come up with. A, a ring wouldn't be $1 trillion, so I had to make it $1 billion. <laughs> Okay. You guys are so awesome. Well, I, 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 well, I, we made we made mommy some some beautiful mommy's day cards that we're gonna give her, and and I can't wait to give her those, and we can't wait to give her flowers, and we can't wait to take her out for dinner. We're gonna have so much fun, right? Uh, yes. yes. Okay. But, say, can you just do me a favor and say, Happy Mother's Day in the in the microphone? Princess Angel Baby. Thank, Thank you guys you. for listening to this episode of the Pretty and Punk Podcast. Well, that wasn't Corey. Sorry Brown. I jumped over you. That's okay. Thank you for listening this week. God bless you all. God bless the mamas that are living their best life Mother's Day. The mommies that are, you know, just going through the trenches. All the mommies, whatever moment you are in your motherhood god bless you guys you're doing an incredible job and you were chosen for this you really were god bless you i love you guys so much you guys are amazing and we'll see you guys next week thank you for listening to this special episode of the pretty and punk podcast make sure to like and subscribe and leave a review god bless love you thank you for listening I hope that changed your life. God bless. See you next time.